Hello and welcome to another episode of My Summer Car. We just quickly change the scene there. Get rid of these ones. There we go. Perfect. My Summer Car. So today we're going to take a look at MSC Editor for all you noobs, you newcomers, new My Summer Car builders. Yeah, so there's always a lot of comments on the tutorial videos I do. You know, like I've done it, I've followed it, but the cars are starting. And at the beginning of every video, or halfway through a video, I've always said that the engine parts are randomly generated. So you might get a part that's completely worn out and it ain't going to work. Therefore, your car's not going to start. You know, even though you followed the video through, that ain't going to make a difference. But MSC Editor is a useful tool. Some people might call it cheating, other people might call it learning how to play the game. Yeah, so, you know, you want to learn how to tune your car. But before you knew about MSC Editor, there was... If you mess it up, you've got to take it to Flutaris, you've got to pay to have it fixed and retuned and then blah, blah, blah. But if you use MSC Editor, you, you, you're not taking any risks. You can learn to tune it. If it all works out perfect, you've learned how to tune your car. But if you mess it up, you can just pop my MSC Editor up, load up your file, fix it all and start again until you get it right, you know. But just to, before we, as we get started, we start a new game. Yes, yeah, so, uh... I've saved my other one, it's all backed up into another file. CJ. Uh, no, not that way, it's games. And there we go, and then we got CJ. Lovely. Doesn't matter about permadeath, we won't be uh, staying around. So if we start our new game, there we go, just wait for this to load up. So here we are, we got our uh, new game. Lovely, we're all loaded in. There's a Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Perfect. So if we go out, just have a look at everything without running into a wall. There's our piece of rust bucket for now. So yeah, all our parts there. Yeah? So last tutorial we did, I stood right here and I said, all your parts are randomly generated, yeah? Your block, which doesn't show up at, in the Setsuma report, but you can check that a different way. I'll show you. you got your gear, your, your transmission, your pistons, crankshaft, Head gasket, rocker shaft, yeah, vault pump, alternator. So if we go and save the game and then we jump into MSC editor, I'll show you what I mean by randomly generated. Yeah? So we save the game. Lovely. And then if we just move you out of the way quick. Lovely. And then I want you in the main screen. And then I want to show you up. Perfect. Right. So when you go to use it, you got file up the top here, yeah, and you go open, it's the top one, yeah, default es2 file.txt, it's right at the top, it'll always be at the top, so you can't not find it, yeah, so if we open that, there we go, so we got all our stuff here, let me just uh, fix this box, I don't know why it's being a douche, can we get it to fit the screen? I don't want to make it too small, because I want you to be able to read it. We get there. How's that? There we go. And just there we go. Perfect. So if you lock that, so then you go tools, which is up here. Then you go Setsuma report. That's not going to show us. Right there we go. Welcome back. So here we are. We got our report card up with the Setsuma report. If we click over to maintenance, there you go. You got your alternate condition 10%, 71% on the clutch, and you got 30%, 37, 39, 20%. Yeah, so once you've built it, you could one of these could be really bad, you know? So if we close that, yeah, and then we go back to my summer car. We'll bring that back. And then we start another new game. Let's just call it da 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 and da da da. Then begin. Get past the intro again. There's all your parts back on the shelf, yeah, so if we go and save it, and then we'll see what the parts are like this time. So the alternator was 10%, some bits were 20%, and all that, yeah, so if we go back, get this out of the way, go on to you, then you, get the report up again, yep, so get the Setsuma report. Is that it? No, still not, so I've got to add it again. Unbelievable. One sec. 
Right, yeah, so there you go. You've got, look, alternate conditions at 37 now. 67, 49, 36, nothing. Or oh, we've got this one at 22% and this one at 26. But it's randomly generated. So some of you unlucky people, players, might get one that's a null or one or two, five percent, you know? So you can always find out if that's your problem or not, right? But it's also got its other perks and all. You know, so like I said, if you wanna tune your car, in which in this case I'm gonna have to I'll well, switch the files out quick. Get that one and get this one. There we go, if I just copy that. Exit, then paste. Oh crap, didn't want to do that. What are you doing? There we go. And then paste. Yeah, replace. Do that and that. And then we want to open. Yep, open it. And then we go there. Is that Sumo report? Not coming up again. Don't you just love it? So if we add that window in again. Yep. Right, so that should stay there now, hopefully. Right, so then we go. We got our game back. Yeah, so you got your fuel level, your engine oil level, oil condition. So if you're not sure if that's one of your problems, you know, you got your brake fluid, your stock radiator coolant level, everything's there. Your suspension condition, you know, if it's been bent, if it was in a crash or someone hit you. You got your distributor spark timing, you can fix that your stock your air fuel ratio and then you go down like you've got your tire condition water pump everything's here yeah even how to tune it you got your cylinder exhaust four exhaust three then your intakes it's all there for you to play around with test it learn how to tune it if you mess it up you can come back put it back to normal and start again but it also has its other perks, you know, if you want to start the game with a little extra cash, you just go on to your player. So where are we? We're there. So you've got, what, your berry skills, how many cigarettes you got, your dirtness, if you're drunk, your fatigue, your fines, hunger, everything's here. And you can just change the numbers, you know, so look, we've got money we've got 17,000 you've just started the game you want to buy all the parts and get straight into the rally part of the game yeah so well it's gonna to come to say 50,000 there we go there's our 50 grand are we very hungry no we got a lot of weight on us so we don't need a urine player fireworks all stuff and then you've got these ones here look which makes it unlimited yeah, so if you push this one, your urine and your hunger will never go up. And if you push this one, your urine and your hunger and other stuff will never go down. So it doesn't matter if you sleep or not, which is actually a good idea, actually, if you always want to sleep. You know, just have it half tired and then you can always go to sleep if it works that way. But yeah. And then say you've missed the rally, you overslept and you've got to be there at 10 o'clock. You can just change the world time. So it's 10 o'clock at night, let's change it to 10 o'clock in the morning. Keep in mind that it goes two hours advanced, yeah? So if you start, if you save the game at 8 o'clock and load back in, it'll be 10 o'clock. So we go 8 o'clock, enter. What day is it? Is it Friday? It's Friday. Right, and then if we go, so we've got world time, we've done world day. If we, if you want to get the keys to your vehicles, so you've got the Hayo Sicko, the Fernadel, you don't get any of the keys to them cars when you first start. If you can't be bothered to keep carrying around the um, spanner set with the screwdriver to get the Rusco and steal that. So let's see, Rusco. Actually, no, we ain't got the key to the Hayo Sicko. So if you type in that and then you go key Hayo Sicko, yeah, it's at, it'll be at zero, yeah? So you just change the value to one and you've got the key. It's the same with the Fernadel, the value will be one, the Rusco, the Hayo Sicko, the Poop. The poop machine, sewage sucker, that would be one. Yeah, so you have the keys to all the cars. If you, um, yeah, if you can't be bothered to do this, do it the proper way. Or like I said, if you're on permadeath, you've crashed, you actually got quite far in the game, it's pissed you off, and you can't, you, you're not feeling going through the game again, you can just use this tool to get you back to where you was. Or even load up your saved game 
and it'll tell you like player dead like I showed you you could just change that from true to false and you'll be back to where he was yeah so it's got a lot of useful perks to it with the wasps like if you try to go there I think we've done that so if you type in wasps it'd be false when you first start the game they're not dead you change them to true and then yeah they'll be dead and so the, the first one is the Rusco, the second one is the Haunted Mansion. Yeah? So if we get back to the game and we go and untune our car, what one do I want? This one, that's it. Then we just hide them ones. Perfect. And then we go continue. So we've changed the time of day. So it's now 10 o'clock in the morning. We've given ourselves 50,000 and it's a Friday. Is it a Friday or a Saturday? I think it's a Friday, it says Friday. There's our 50 grand, and the time is 10 o'clock. So, we quickly go over to our car, and we'll pop the hood, and we'll untune it a bit. So if we quickly get our spanner set, ratchet set, whatever you want to call it, get out of the way. There we go, lovely. We'll just pop you there. I think we can put it there like that. And then we open it up, need a size seven, don't we? Uh, two and then seven lovely we'll leave that there hopefully it's not in the way open that let's quickly turn it on and pop the hood lovely get it started up right we want to badly untune it so it all goes into MSC editor and we just pop you off throw you over there we need to grab our screwdriver So I think it's down. Yeah, and then you scroll up. So we're going to go all the way to the other end. Like that. And then this one, yeah. So we go up. No, where are you being like that? That's it there. So we're going to scroll up. I don't want to make it better. I want to make it worse. There we go. Then we scroll up. Get that twisted. Bring it back down. There we go. No, like that. Yeah, okay. And then, can we get that one? Yeah. There we go. I think we made it worse. Right, let's hope we made it worse. So if we do that, Get that, get you off the car. We need to shut this. Get this out of the way, or we're going to drive over it. Break the car before we get to test it. Turn the lights off. There we are, shut the door. And let's get on the road. Perfect. Right. Doesn't seem that bad at the moment, but we get on the road and see what happens. We want to try and hit 100 kilometers, I say. I think that's a fair test. It's so scary doing that. I hate it. <laughs> you never know if anything's coming. I suppose that's the thrill of it, isn't it? You know? Right, so it seems to be okay. So if we turn around, go back and save it, and we'll see how badly untuned it is. So let's uh, slow it down. Do a three point turn before that car comes. So like that. Come on. That car's gonna hit us otherwise. Come on. Uh, I think we're alright. Yeah, it's getting slow now as the engine gets hot. So slow it down. In fact, let's see if we can blow the engine before we get there. So we want to get right up in the revs and change down. There we go. So we've blown the engine, yeah? All the pistons have just popped out the car.
And now we're going to go and get a Satsuma report of how bad it is. Yeah, just to make sure she's not starting. No? I'm pretty sure a lot of people have done that in the rally. Getting a bit overexcited coming up to a corner. So, let's go save it and we'll see what the Satsuma report says. Yeah? Did quite a lot of damage here. Yeah? So, if we go here, then, yeah. Then we want to get our Satsuma report up. So, there. Don't know if that's going to show up. Oh, wicked it is. Lovely. So, we go there. Maintenance. And there we go. So, this is how badly untuned the car is. Cylinder intake. Intake 2. Intake 3. We did a lot there. So, if you go fix, 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 fix. We did them all. Wow. Can't believe it. And then, what popped out? Piston 4, 3, 2, 1. All in there. Uh, what about they're installed so where's the pistons be down the bottom yeah there we go piston 2 damaged there you go pistons 3 2 and 1 all damaged not installed so I think what we do is we can close that and then we can go here and type in piston like so and then it go damaged true. We'll change that to false. Then installed true. Like that. And then we go there. So damaged false. Installed true. Then piston free, wasn't it? So damaged false. Installed true. And then we get our Satsuma report up again. And it'd be loose parts free, damaged parts. So we go repair all parts, fix loose parts. And then there you go. So if we can get a report up on the pistons now, where are they? There we go. Installed, 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 installed. Bolts, two out of two, all done. Now we need to find our rocker. Sh was it no the crankshaft, didn't it? So let's have a look. See crankshaft. Where are you? Crankshaft. There we go. Installed. All good. Wicked. So we should we save it. When we get back onto the game, we should be okay to get back on the road straight away. Right, so we've got all our pistons installed, all repaired. We checked the crankshaft that said it was installed. So yeah, hopefully, if everything serves well, we've just put our car back together. And yeah, she'll start. So if we go here... Turn her on. There we go. So you've just accidentally broke your car. So you don't want a thing yet, but you do what you got a good time. It was right at the end of the rally. You take that last corner, you blow your engine, you roll across the line, you know, so you can go and save it, you can quickly put everything back in the car, make sure she's all top notch, and then get back into it, you know? So, yeah, I hope this little tutorial helped you out on the MSC editor. If you have any questions, you know, if you need any help, if, say, you've got a different version or whatever, I'm always there. I'll always answer you in the comments if I can help you. If not, I'm sure someone else can. But, anyway, if you liked the episode, hit that like button. If you didn't, hit that dislike button. If you want to see more, whatever game, whatever the game would be, you know, Police Simulator, Storm Chasers, My Summer Car, whatever else gets released from now to Christmas, then just hit that subscribe button, you know? It'd be nice to see some new faces around here. We get them all the time, and it's lovely to see the support. I can't express how much I appreciate every one of you, you know? But yeah, hit that subscribe button, hit that notifications bell. See you in the comments, yeah? And as always, I love you all, and I'll see you in the next one.